As far as Wear OS devices go, there's no shortage of wearables to choose from, thanks to a wide range of different models from brands like Samsung, Xiaomi, Google, and more recently, OnePlus. With that in mind, however, most Wear OS products lean towards the expensive side of things, with prices usually ranging from 250 bucks and more. This is where the new Xiaomi Watch 2 comes in. Priced at just around 200 bucks, Xiaomi's budget smartwatch features all the basics you'd expect from Wear OS. Although it's such a low price, one might think that there are some significant compromises. But is this really the case though? Let's find out. Now in terms of specs, the Xiaomi Watch 2 comes with a 1.43 inch AMOLED display with a 466 by 466 pixel resolution, a Qualcomm Snapdragon W5 Plus Gen 1 chipset, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, a 495 milliamp hour battery, 5 ADM water resistance, and several sensors including an optical heart rate sensor, accelerometer, gyroscope, electronic compass, and barometer. Starting off with the design, it's probably safe to say that Xiaomi didn't set out to reinvent the wheel with this one. The Xiaomi Watch 2 comes with your standard round watch face with an aluminum alloy casing and two action buttons on the right hand side. It kind of resembles the base model Samsung Galaxy Watch series, albeit with a few minor changes to the design. The display is responsive and easily visible when outdoors. Although it should be noted that the bezel around the screen is a bit large, it also lacks a rotating crown so navigating around the UI will require you to swipe on the display. On the bottom you'll find the watch's sensors as well as a slot where the magnetic charging pins hook up to. This whole setup is water resistant for up to 50 meters, overall it's a design that it plays it safe and more importantly doesn't feel too cheap. It also helps that it supports standard watch bands so you can use compatible straps on the Xiaomi Watch 2. For software, the Xiaomi Watch 2 runs on Google Wear OS, which is a more capable software platform that allows for better customization, support for Android, as well as access to a wide range of apps. It's certainly better than the custom real-time OS systems that you'll find on cheaper smartwatches, and as a result, the software is fluid and responsive, with barely any lag when scrolling around the UI. Of course, Wear OS does mean that the watch will only work with Android devices, although you can use it with any Android smartphone out there. It does require you to use the Xiaomi's Mi Fitness app, which handles account sign-in and device setup before you can use the watch itself. As a Wear OS device, I'd like to think that the watch is a very capable one. Notifications from my Pixel went to my watch without any hitches, I could call on Google Assistant simply with the Hey Google voice prompt, and I was able to install Google's own fitness software and third-party apps via Google Play. I can even type replies to messages, although it takes a bit of patience given the small display. Perhaps one major consideration though is that the Watch 2 is still on Wear OS 3.5, at least at the time of this review. Given that my much older Galaxy Watch 4 Classic has already received Wear OS 4, having a fairly newer device stuck in an older platform does lead me to wonder just how long it'll take Xiaomi to bring over the latest platform upgrade to the Watch 2. Now, I'm not a fitness enthusiast by any means, and most, I probably use my wearables to keep track of my heart rate and maybe log some steps when out and about. But if you're planning on getting the Xiaomi Watch 2 mainly as a workout companion, it does pack over 160 workout modes, including running, cycling, and even yoga. Of course, there's also built-in tracking for heart rate, SpO2, sleep metrics, and even stress tracking. Because of the low price though, it does lack skin temperature monitoring, which might be an issue for some users. It should be mentioned that heart rate monitoring can be inconsistent at times. Every now and then, I'll get some higher readings than usual, which might be a major point of consideration for some users. By comparison though, my Apple Watch showed more realistic heart rates in similar conditions. As for battery endurance, the Xiaomi Watch 2 can last around a day and a half on average, although that's if you mess around with the always-on display settings, Wi-Fi connectivity, and such. If you really stretch it with conservative use, you can maybe get two days worth of battery life from the watch, but only if you're willing to drain the battery fully. It can fully charge to 100% in just under an hour, so long as you have a compatible quick charge adapter. Alright, so as a Wear OS device, the Xiaomi Watch 2 gets a lot of things right. Features like Google Assistant, custom replies to notifications, an easy setup process, as well as a solid design and dependable battery life all make for one fairly competent wearable at a price more affordable than most devices on the market. On the other hand, factors like the inconsistent heart rate tracking and the lack of skin temperature sensing are things to consider, especially for people who are specifically looking for those features. But again, if an affordable Wear OS device is all you're after, then the Xiaomi Watch 2 is a nice choice. Right guys, so that's all the time that we have for this quick video. Let me know your thoughts about the Xiaomi Watch 2. Are you planning on getting one or do you already have one? Do check out our other content here on TeamViewer Y. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.